In this video we'll be discussing the diode. Now for most of us when we research the diode we see its predominant application in electronics. But when we think about the diode in relation to power applications we will quickly realize that we're sort of taking a small slice of the diode pie really uh, when we think about it in use for power systems and so forth. So we're going to not be explaining all of diodes, but just the sorts of diode knowledge you'll need for the power PE. A diode, quite simply, is a circuit element. And by circuit element, I, I mean something that you would see on a single line diagram, such as like a transistor or a capacitor or an inductor or something like that. Anyways, a diode, functioning as a circuit element, only allows current to flow in one direction. And as a circuit element, it is represented by this symbol. Now if we pay attention to the simple shape of this symbol, we can see something about the diode. First off, it's an arrow pointing in a particular direction. And it's important to understand the significance of that. It is referencing a directional flow. And if you notice, there's also some sort of blocking type of line. So we can understand that it not only allows the flow in a particular direction, but it disallows the flow in another direction. As power engineers, we very often work in the world of vectors and phasers and so forth for our problems. But when thinking about the diode, we're actually going to have to step outside of that world and now function in the world of the sine wave. So we should be visualizing AC current and polarity shift and the physicality of the current flow within the actual circuit. And this is the primary application of diodes in the power world, which is waveforms. So let's take a look at an AC sine wave for current. In this waveform, you'll see the sine wave going above and below the time axis. This is the alternating current characteristic that we are all so very, very familiar with for AC power. The alternating polarity of the current shows the current actually moving back and forth in a conductor, physically moving back and forth in a conductor. And the diode prevents the current from flowing in one of these directions. What does it mean that the diode prevents the current from flowing in one of these directions? Well, if the diode blocks the current going in one direction, and it could block the current going in either one of the directions, either on the positive side of the time axis or the negative side of the time axis, that means that the current is zero in that particular direction. In our example here, we will zero out the negative polarity direction. So let's say just that, that the negative polarity current motion is being blocked by the diode. All of the sine wave humps that dip below the time axis become zeroed out. So this little trough here becomes zeroed. This means quite simply that the curve that existed below the time axis line now is zero. It's no more. With the diode in place, blocking the negative polarity current motion, our old sine wave becomes this sine wave. So let's draw it over here with simply just the diode waveform. So when the diode is in use, you see a sort of bouncing ball waveform with a gap in between the bounces. This is largely the core of the knowledge you'll be required to know for the power PE. And as we said when we began the video, there is a lot more about diodes in electronics applications, but for the power PE, you're really going to be focused on these sorts of concepts. So in this PE, you'll be asked about sort of how it creates modified waveforms potentially, or you could have questions about calculating mean values or calculating RMS values. As well in power applications, the diode is used a lot in converting AC to DC. So there could be also questions involving waveform rectification of one form or another. So just keep in mind for the power applications, we're going to be dealing with these waveform issues in the use of the diode. So if you understand what a diode does to the waveforms, you can answer all sorts of these PE questions with your standard base knowledge of power systems and power formulas and so forth. 
So that's the diode for the PowerPE.